So Lee and Lee have just released the new improved second version of their very popular AL120 Uni fans. Like with the last generation, they're available in both black and white, and as 120 and 140 millimeter fans. A single pack of the 120 millimeter fans is going to set you back 27.99. The triple pack of the 120 millimeter fans is 89.99. And although I don't have it here, the 140mm fans are available as a single pack, priced at $30.99. So the first thing to point out is we've had significant improvement gains. In terms of airflow, we're up to 77.3 CFM compared to 64.5 with the older fans. Um, air pressure is up to 2.97 compared to 2.62 millimeters of water. And the noise levels haven't significantly increased. We're up a little bit to 28.7 decibels compared to 28.3. So one of the ways Lianli have been able to get these performance benefits is to make the new version of the fan slightly thicker than the older one. So the new fan now measures in at 28 millimeters thick. We've also got a bigger range in the rotational speed. The old fans went from 800 to 1900 revs per minute, whereas the new fans go from 250 to 2000 revs per minute. And we've also got a zero fan mode on the new fans as well. So in terms of the lighting on the front of the fan, this is gonna be fairly similar. We've got lighting on the fan blades themselves, and we've got these four light bars around the side of the fan, which you can control separately. On the back of the fan, we've got the same four lighting bars around the outside. We've got the silver medallion in the middle with the ring of light around it. And if we compare to the older fan, looking at the four bits of plastic coming out from the silver medallion, you'll notice the new version definitely looks much cleaner. We don't have this appearance here showing up in here. And the only place you can see the wires is through this cutout here. So where we do actually have some new lighting effects, it's on the sides of the fans. And we've got a little lighting bar on each of the four corners. So we've got one here, 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 and here. And you'll see this better when I power the fans on. So just like with the revised second version of the SL120 Uni fans, the connections for the cables have been improved. So they actually sit quite flush when you push them in. So you can notice here, there's a little cutout here that the cable pushes into. So you can imagine this is going to take up very little room at the side. So in terms of connecting the fans together, it's exactly the same as the old version. It's just a matter of lining them up at the side and pushing them down into place. And like with the new improved version of the SL120 Uni fans, the connectors at the side are removable. It's just a matter of twisting them and then the little connectors can be pulled out. And same again with the other one, if we twist it round and pull it out. So you're now gonna have a nice flat end which should certainly help with mounting on radiators. So how you're gonna connect these up to your computer depends on whether you've gone for the single pack which doesn't come with a hub or the triple pack which does. So starting off with the single pack first of all, it's just gonna come with this cable with two different connectors on it. The first is a four pin PWM connector, which you're gonna plug into a fan header on your motherboard and use your motherboard to control the fan speed. The other is an ARGB connector and you've got two choices for it. If you've got one of the old Lian Li Unifan hubs, it simply plugs into the ARGB port on it and you're gonna be able to control the ARGB effects on the fans and you do get more ARGB effects if you lose Lian Li's L Connect software. If you don't have one of these hubs, you're still gonna have everything in the pack to get it connected up to your motherboard. You've got this little connector here, which simply just pushes into place. And then you've got a standard three pin, five volt ARGB connector to plug into a header on your motherboard. So with a single pack of fans, you're gonna be able to get everything you need to part directly with your motherboard. If you get the triple pack of fans, it comes with this hub, which is gonna allow you to use Lian Li's L Connect 3 to control the effects on your fans, which gives you a lot more control. You're gonna be able to get more color effects, but you're also gonna get more control of the fan speed using this. And in fact, you can actually sync the fans up to your GPU and use the zero fan mode. So coming from the hub out of the box, we've got two SATA power connectors. You're gonna plug into a SATA cable coming from your power supply to power the hub. At the bottom of the hub, you've got space for two other connectors to plug in. We're gonna plug this one into here, and it's got a USB 2.0 cable coming from it, and that's gonna go into a USB 2.0 header on your motherboard to allow it to connect up. And then we've got another cable which goes into this port here, just a matter of lining it up and pushing it into place. And coming from it, we've got two different connectors. We've got a four pin PWM connector and a three pin five volt ARGB connector. You plug these into headers on your motherboard and that's then gonna allow you this hub to sync up for motherboard control, allowing your motherboard to control the ARGB effects on everything plugged into the hub and allowing it to control the fan speed as well. So it's great to see we've only got one cable coming from the fans if you're gonna connect them up to the controller and the controller itself has four ports on it. So it's just a matter of lining the single cable up and plugging it into place. 
And as we've mentioned, there's four different ports on the controller. The triple pack comes with four of these cables, so you're gonna be able to connect up four groups of Lian Li Uni fans to the controller, and the controller can control up to 16 fans. So just like with the second version of the SL Uni fans, it is now possible to daisy chain two groups of Li and Li Uni fans together. And with a triple fan pack, you get two of these cables that allow you to do it. So we've got this set of three Li and Li Uni fans connected up to the port on our hub. And we want to add this group in. So we're going to need to remove the connector on the side to make space for the cable. And then it's just a matter of lining the connecting cable up with the ports on the cable and then pushing it down to lock it into place. And then we can connect the other end of the cable in exactly the same way as what we've been doing with the other cables. So using this method, you're gonna be able to connect up to six Li and Li Uni fans combined with a connector cable to one port on the controller. It does, however, mean that you still are limited to 16 Uni fans total, even though you plugged six of them into one port on the controller. Okay, so that's everything connected up to the computer and powered on. You'll notice our first group of fans that are connected directly to the controller are lighting up, whereas the second group that we've daisy chained aren't. So we're gonna to need to head over to Lian Li's L Connect and set this up. Okay, so to set the fans up, we're gonna to need to click on the settings, and then we're gonna to need to click on device. Over here, you can see the groups of fans and the daisy chained option. So I've plugged our fans into port number four. So all I need to do is select that there's three and three fans connected up together. And we can deselect here that there's no fans plugged into any of these other groups and then click apply. And what you'll notice now is that all six of the fans are lighting up. To adjust the lighting effects on the fans, we need to click here. And you can see we're into port number four, which is currently set up to rainbow. We've got the fans running on the quiet fan curve and currently set to rainbow, and we can adjust the effects of the different parts of the fans. So at the moment, we're on the whole of the fan. If we just want to control the middle of the fan or the outside of the fan, we can select these individually, um, or we can control them all together, and there's a whole variety of different effects. So for example, I wanted to go for static color. Let's pick a static white. All we would need to do is paint white over all six of the fans that are connected up to this group and then click on apply. If we've got more than one group of fans and we want to apply the effects to them all, we would just simply click apply to all and that will change everything. As I mentioned, you can change the individual effects. So if we want to just control the middle of the fan, we can click on here. It's gonna go back to rainbow and say we want the middle to be a static color, we can do that. So let's go, for example, let's pick this purple and paint it all to purple and then click on apply. You'll notice the middle of the fans have changed to purple, whereas the outside is still set to rainbow. And we wanna go and change the outside separately. We'll pick on it, and then we'll go for a static color again, and then let's go for this blue with it. And click on apply. In terms of adjusting the fan curves, it can be done from here. So you can go here and pick whatever fan profile you want, but you're much better going over to the fan pump profile. So our fans are connected to port number four. We can see the current fan speed and they're the 120 millimeter fans. So if you get the 140 version, you can change them here. Um, you can change your fan profile here or set up a custom fan curve, and then you can change to what it's reacting to, either the CPU or the GPU. So you're going to install the fans down at the bottom of the case. Having them set to the GPU temperature would make sense. Um, the other option that we have is the start-stop mode. So the fans are under a low load, they can actually stop spinning. So we turn this on. So what you'll notice here is the fans are actually going to not run at all until the GPU temperature hits about 25 degrees, and then they're going to start. And obviously we can adjust this by dragging the points on the curve if we want to. So I've gone ahead and dimmed the lights to give you a better look at the lighting on the fan. So you can see we've got separate lighting on the fan blades as well as these four bars around the outside. So turning the fans around, I think the back of the fans is just as attractive as the front with this nice silver medallion in the middle and the lighting ring around the outside. And then you can see the new lighting effects on the side of the fan. So we've got these four bars, one on each corner, and I think this makes a real difference to the look. So I think Lee and Lee have absolutely nailed it with the revised second version of these AL Uni fans. They made fans that were really good, even better. And I'm really looking forward to getting these into a build on the channel soon. 
So if you have enjoyed this video, if you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.